Today, I want to show you a few apps that have completely changed the game for me. These three apps are amazing if you're running a business and also share the added responsibility of having to cook for your family. You want to start a business, get a car or buy a home and your credit score is in need of some serious, serious help. Or you just need a tool to help keep all of your pieces of content in your life or business organized so that things are easy to find and share. Are you ready? All right, let's jump in. So I'm sure you guys have seen those awesome meal delivery kits that have been pretty popular for a couple of years now. You know, the ones that where they include, you know, however many meals that you choose into one order and then they ship it right to your door. And then all you have to do is just take out all of the ingredients which are completely measured out for you and then just throw the meals together. I mean, it's supposed to be, you know, easy, no fuss, simple way to cook for your family. But if you're like me and you cook for five people, those meal delivery kits can get pretty pricey. And honestly, those are more ideal for somebody who's only cooking for maybe two to three people, in my opinion. I had literally given up on the idea of any type of meal delivery kit for my family until I found the app Mealime. Huh. Mealime has the ability to replace all of those meal delivery subscriptions, whether you're a family of two or a family of five like me. This app is completely customizable and their free option is amazing. <laughs> So this is what you do. First, you're going to input your menu preferences um, into, the, into the app, including things like keto or paleo, however you want to eat, vegetarian, pescatarian, whatever. And then if you're one of those picky eater, eaters or you have any like food allergies, then you can just make a list of like the stuff that you straight up don't like and don't want to eat. And then they will not include um, any recipes with those specific ingredients in them, which is really cool. Then you're gonna choose like how many people that you're gonna be cooking for, okay? So they have a few different options. They've got two servings or one with leftovers, four servings for two to three with leftovers, or six servings for a family of five. After you choose your serving sizes, then you wanna choose how many nights a week that you actually are gonna cook. Then after you choose that, it's going to curate a ton of different like menu options that you can just pick through and decide what, you know, what meals that you want to make. And as soon as you build up your meal plan, then it's going to curate all of those ingredients into like one shopping list, which is so, so cool. Um, but that doesn't, it doesn't even stop there. You guys, it doesn't even stop there because it even gets better. So after that, then what it's going to do is it's going to, um, let you go through that list and like take out everything that you already have in your kitchen. So like, you know, if something calls for like salt and pepper, obviously you might probably already have that. So you just take that off your list and then it, you don't have that anymore. Um, but if you really don't want to go to the grocery store yourself, the coolest part about this, you guys, is that you can actually import your grocery list straight into your Amazon fresh or Instacart accounts. I'm not even kidding. And then you can just have it straight delivered to your door, just like those subscription services. It literally took me maybe five, maybe 10 minutes at, at the most to do my meal plan. And then of course, yes, we do have to still cook. We still have to cook our meals, but when you actually go to cook your meal, it has a cooking mode where it like gives you the, the steps of the recipe, like step by step by step. And you don't even have to touch your phone. You could just swoop your hand over the top and then it'll take you to the next, the next step. Okay. Um, and then the other really cool feature that it has that I thought was pretty cool was like, let's say you're in the middle of cooking a recipe and you're, um, and it says, you know, you need to boil your potatoes for 20 minutes. Well, as soon as you get your water boiling and you go to um, boil those potatoes, you can, you know, click the button The it has like a little like um, timer. So you just click the 20 minute timer and then go to the next step. Well, when your potatoes are done that it will alert you um, no matter where you are at um, in the recipe. So I just, it's really cool. <laughs> and I'm sure you're, ask, you're asking yourself like, well, are these recipes even really good? Yes, they are so good. They're super good, you guys. Like even my, my kids like them. I made like a cauliflower lasagna. It was like my, literally my son, he loved it. It was really, really good. Sometimes I do opt to like import the list into my Instacart account, 
but honestly it's not always the cheapest um option so having the option to go to the store myself is so great and that's something that like those other meal delivery kits don't have so keep that in mind but it's great because like on those days that I maybe wouldn't cook um because I didn't have time to go to the grocery store there it's a total lifesaver by the way this is just like with the free account okay um with a paid pro account which is like $5.99 a month or you could pay for the whole year for $49.99 um you have access to like way more recipes and features but honestly they're not like you don't need them um the biggest thing that i've noticed with a pro account is that it does give you like more detailed um, nutrition information so if that's important to you that you might you know opt for that i mean it's not even that expensive in my opinion and it's amazing like five to ten minutes to do your entire meal plan it's amazing <laughs> And hey, I'm Madison, for those of you who are new here, and I help hairstylists, moms, and female entrepreneurs in general to build their businesses, reach their goals, and discover their higher, more spiritual selves in the process. So if that sounds like something that you're into, make sure that you're subscribed to this channel. And don't forget to click that bell notification at the bottom of the screen to make sure that you're notified every single time I release a new video just like this. Okay, so the hardest part about building a credit history is getting access to credit in the first place. Am I right? So if becoming an authorized user on somebody else's account, which is called piggybacking, for those of you who don't know, or getting a secured credit card is not an option for you because you can't afford the deposit, um, Kickoff and Self are cheap and simple ways that you can build credit. Huh. Yeah. So these are apps. Let's talk about Kickoff first. So the first thing that I will say about Kickoff is that upon you know me downloading and starting to use this within the first 30 days of me signing up, my credit score jumped 43 points. So I don't know about the long term yet, but like for the immediate, I was pretty impressed. Um, so this is how Kickoff works. So when you activate your Kickoff account by signing up for their membership, which only costs you about $2 a month with zero interest and zero fees. And really there's just zero catch. You can start to build your credit like immediately. They report to two of the major credit bureaus every single month, Experion and Equifax. And by making on-time payments each and every month, you'll be on your way to building your credit history. And to help you be successful, they actually send you payment reminders and then you also have the option to turn on your auto pay um, to put your payments on autopilot. Your kickoff account never expires and you can renew your subscription whenever you want. And since account age determines about 15% of your credit score, leaving it open for longer will only help you to continue to build your credit history. The other app that I really like is um, that's also very similar to Kickoff is called Self Credit App. And there's no application needed to become a member of Self, but you will need to apply for a credit builder account. Within this application process, you will specify which of Self's four account options you want to use. There's a $25 monthly payment. Um, which is over a 24 month term resulting in a $520 payout. There's a $35 monthly payment option for over, and that's over a 24 month term resulting in $724 payout, or there's a $48 a month payment over a 12 month term resulting in a $539 payout. And they also have a $150 monthly payment, which is over a 12 month term resulting in a 16 $163 payout. Um, so self gives you a way to build credit history while building your savings, which is really cool. And you can build credit even with a low credit score or even like no credit score. You would just want to start with a self credit builder account. And the cool thing about it is that there is no hard credit check. There's no credit history that's needed. It includes credit score monitoring and they report to three credit bureaus, all three of them. Experion, Equifax, and TransUnion. And then at the end, you get back the savings minus your interest and the fees, of course. But the other option is that you can actually just continue with the self visa credit card, um, which is a secured credit card designed for um, building your credit. But to be eligible for this card, you need to um, currently have an open credit builder account. You have to have made three um, on time monthly payments to your credit builder account, have at least $100 in your credit builder account and have your account in good standing. 
This is a um, secured credit card, uh, which means it's backed by some form of collateral that protects the card issuer in case of default in order to provide um, this backing. During the application process, Self will not run a credit check on you, um, and that's because you'll already own a credit builder account, which means the company already um, has knowledge of your credit situation. So once you receive your card by mail and activate it, you're free to use it as you please. Um, because it's um, Self is a uh, visa, so it's pretty much accepted everywhere um, that visa is as well. So here are the main benefits. You've got no hard credit check. They report to all three of the credit bureaus. And then also it adds a second type of credit to your credit report. And it also includes credit usage monitoring and alerts, and you can use it everywhere that Visa is accepted in the US. So what are the main differences between like Kickoff and um, the Kickoff line of credit account and also Self? The line of credit is $500. There's no fee, no credit check. They only report to two of the major credit card bureaus and they are only available in 46 states. They do not let you do this in Delaware, Indiana, North Dakota, or Nevada. The self loan um, is not free. It can range from $600 to $1,800 and co it costs about $9 for the administration fee. There is no credit check and they do report to all three credit bureaus. The loan term is for one or two years and it's available in all 50 states. You can pay your loan back early at both lenders or close your credit account at kickoff if you have established a good credit score and you're ready to apply for traditional loans or credit cards. But since kickoff offers a revolving line of credit at no cost, keeping the line of credit open but hardly using it after you've graduated to other credit products, it will seriously benefit your credit history maybe just a little bit more than self. So what do you guys think? Um, is this something that you that you would want to try out? I mean, honestly, I've been pretty impressed with the immediate 43 point boost in my own credit score um, by using the kickoff one. Um, but have any of you guys used these yourself? Tell me your thoughts on these products if you've used them in the comments below. Okay, so what if you could turn your keyboard into your personal sales tool? Like you had one place where you put all of your sales and marketing um, content and then you were easily able to access it through your mobile phone's keyboard. Well, with the Boards app, that's exactly what is possible. <laughs> with this app, you can create a custom board with text, images, videos, PDFs, links, and more, and then easily access them right through your keyboard. So in the exact same way that you um, have keyboards for stickers and gifts, you can now have one for all of your content. It allows you to like add all of the content that you frequently use in your sales, such as like scripts, templates, products, catalogs, whatever it is that you grab all the time in your business or life and just simply switch different keyboards to access it. It's so simple. So say goodbye to the days of always searching for your content in a million different places and then copying and pasting over and over again. You have everything that you need in one single clip. The way I like to use this app in my own business is I have a few different forms that I have my clients fill out that I just keep in one little area. I have images that I send when I send emails. I have templates that I like to send. I also have a couple of like, um, like when I do Brazilian blowouts and I want them to have like an at home instruction, like how to take care of their hair, I'll send them like little um, images. So it's like, I have everything that I need in my business right there. And then I don't have to go searching for them. You can also use these like with teams, which is really cool. And you can share these boards. So it's just, it's like really rad. It's I've, I'm like, can't believe and believe this app is free and shout out to Alyssa from Twilight Tans because she's the one who told me about it and it is awesome. It's just really cool. Cause it like, it allows you to keep your content like super organized. You can even do like themes or topics. You can like have different folders. It's just a really great way to keep really organized. So that's it. Those are the apps that I've been like super loving right now and I think are really cool. And you know, they're just great. I love these apps. Um, I'm an app girl. I've, I've just I've found that I've, that I've noticed. And it's like, if you, if you have a problem, literally there's like almost an app for everything. I don't know if you've noticed that, but I have. So anyway, um, if you like this video, please don't forget to give me a like and, um, share, please share to all your friends. 
especially that meal lime one. That's a game changer right there. I've known about that for a couple years now and I still can't believe how amazing it is. And oh, and I'll tell you the way that I found out about that app. I was sitting down, getting on Pinterest because I wanted to start cooking and I wanted to put a meal plan together. Sat there for over 45 minutes and could not figure anything out. And then finally I decided, you know what? There has to be an app for this. That's what I go, that's my go-to now. If I'm stuck or I can't figure it out, it's like there has to be an app for this. So of course I went and I looked online and sure enough, I could, the thing that I think is really cool is that it like goes right to your Instacart. Not only that, but that you can like really customize it to like how your family likes to eat. So it's, you know, that was the problem I was having when I was on Pinterest because I'd find a recipe and be like, okay, well I like this one, this one, this one, but we don't eat that, you know? And so it would like ruin the whole entire meal plan. So anyway, um, I really hope that you like these, um, this video. And if you guys have any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, I will see you guys in the next one. All right, bye.